Welcome back to the channel, guys. Let's make some chicken alfredo. We're gonna start out by salting our water before adding our pasta to it. You gotta have some salt in that water, child, to get a pasta a little bit more flavor than just boiling pasta in water. You know what I'm saying. Now let's cube our chicken breast. I'm only gonna use one chicken breast. Uh, I probably should have used two in hindsight because of the amount of pasta or use less pasta. Either way, the dish turned out beautiful and delicious. Because I cooked it. It is what it is. I'm like to season my food. All right, we cubing, y'all. In order to cube your chicken breast, you're going to lay it flat. You're going to cut it into strips first. You're going to hold it together after you have cut it into strips. And then you're going to go down like you see me doing and that's going to give you your cubes right and the reason you want to do that because when we saute them we're just going to saute them for a little bit just to cook them just a small amount and then we're going to add them to the pasta with the alfredo sauce and all that goody goodness um see that cube honey in order to keep them nice and moist don't nobody want no dry chicken breast in a chicken alfredo all right, we're going to set that over to the side. My apologies for the elevator music. I was on hold and I w was hungry. So I was like, you know what? I could cook my fam some dinner. You guys being fam. Um, and hey, while we listen to, you know, this elevator music while we on hold. All right, so we're going to cut up our sausage. And in order to give the illusion that you have extra sausage in your dish, I split that sucker down the middle and then I make my little uh slices all right while we doing it heavenly father i want to say thank you thank you once again for the hour and the time and the moment that we give to one another to commune and chop it up i pray healing over each and every person that's watching i pray that you cleanse them from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet fill them with your holy spirit spiritually mentally financially all of that stuff, Heavenly Father, I ask that you continue to pray for us and show us some grace and mercy. Amen. All right, we got that chopped up. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the sausage in the pan. And you want to do that. Well, we ain't doing it right now. Stir your, stir your macaroni, child. Please stir your pasta. Penne pasta works really well with this as well. What's another good one? Anything that's kind of thick, um, I'm putting a little butter in mine because y'all already know who y'all working with, Chad, me. Um, what's another good pasta? Mm, y'all know. I'm sure you could use some uh, spaghetti. Yeah, whatever. Whatever you like. Whatever's in your pantry because that's what I did. Whatever was in the kitchen, honey. Ain't nobody got time going to no stove. Uh, I already been to the stove. We cooking what's at the house. All right, so the... Sausage goes into the pan. Once the sausage is in the freaking pan, you want to fry that so that it can release its natural oils. In the meantime, in between time, we're going to cut up us a little bit of onion. Just a little piece. We don't need a whole lot. We, we want to chop it up real, real fast. All right, while I'm doing that, how have you been? How your mama and them, your daddy and them, your auntie and them, your cousin and them? How are you? Have you checked in on you today, honey? Have you checked in on you this week? Have you checked in on you this month? Mental health awareness is real. And it's very important that you are happy. People say, oh, it's not that important that I'm happy. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie from the pits of hell, baby. Don't you believe that lie? It's important that you are happy. Happiness is important even whatever no matter what's going on around you you should still have joy right you should still have joy and not just verbally you need to feel joy within your soul joy and peace within your spirit honey you got to have that in order to thrive if not then you're just gonna be mean and walk around angry all the time and ain't nobody got time to be around people like that right so get you some peace, get you some joy, and make sure your happiness is intact, y'all. Because it's important. Yes, it is. It sure is. Now, why I am doing a voiceover right now, uh, in a little bit, um, I did narrate the video, right? So forgive me, because it's, it's chopped up. So I might start out talking about one thing and end up talking about something else. Y'all already know I got ADD, child. It is what it is. You be all right. Just follow right along. 
All right, so we done cut up our onion. Now we cutting up a little jalapeno pepper. Y'all can skip that part. Uh, Y'all know I like heat, and it still wasn't even hot. Ain't that something? I should have cut, cut up the whole pepper. But it's cool. So we're going to chop it up and get it into the um, pan to uh, saute as well. And you want to chop it up real fine. Real fine. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. All right, y'all just keep watching. And thank you for your time. Yep, thank you. All right, let's. right, I'm finna start talking in the video now. In mine, but you can use what you want in yours. But I like the spice in my life. So I'm gonna add this. And this, I'm leaving the seeds in. Cause it makes it delicious. So it's gonna add heat. So you wanna chop it up real fine, or as fine as you can get it. If you like it chunky, then you do you. Just like that. And you wanna wait on the sausage to release the oils into the pan before adding in the onion and pepper. I'm gonna add, right now I'm going to get out my minced garlic. You're gonna need some minced garlic. But you wanna make sure that you got the oil from the sausage in the pan. While that's doing that, let's go ahead and season up our chicken breast and let it sit to the side, that, like that. Gonna need to add all of the seasoning, the flavors that you want. So I'm gonna put some borets on it. But whatever seasoning, whatever flavor you have in your house, you use that. All right, so I'm gonna put some borets on there. I'm gonna put a little garlic powder. Some garlic powder. I'm gonna add some onion powder and some cumin, some ground cumin. So I'm gonna do some onion powder. Just like that. Use as much as you want, but don't overdo it. The beauty in garlic powder and onion powder uh, powder is um, it's not salty. I'm putting in a little bit of cumin. And my favorite, some Italian spaghetti seasoning. So I'm put a little of that in there. Oh, I put a lot. And then we're gonna mix that around together real good. Just like that. And we wanna let that sit until the sausage release all the oil. And then we're gonna add that to the same pan. All right, now that the sausage has released all of the oil, make sure you get your noodles a stir. You want to remove that from the pan, but leave the oil, as much oil in the pan as you can. We're gonna add in just a little bit of olive oil. And a little bit more. And then we're going to add in our onion and peppers and minced garlic. Just like that. I'm gonna put in some minced garlic. Just like that. Put in as much as you need to for yours when it comes to the minced garlic. That is about a teaspoon. But if you want more, add more. If not, you know, you do you, baby. You want to toss that around just like that. All right, we're going to put in our chicken. And while that's doing its thing, we're going to go back to our noodles to make sure they are ready. Give them a nice little taste. Y 
Yep, noodle ready. Pour out some of the water. Mm -hmm. On there like that. Mm -hmm. And you'll need some Alfredo sauce. It does not matter what brand you use. Just get you some Alfredo sauce. Put all that in there. And to get the rest out the jar, we're going to put a little water in it. We're going to put a little water. We're going to shake it up. And then pour it in there. There you go. All right, we got us some Martin season now. You can always trust that it's not seasoned to the way you want it to. All right, let's like cut that. up this broccoli. Now, I just like to chop mine up into little small pieces because I just want it to be bite sized. And I might want a big old chunk of broccoli in their food. And then we're gonna saute it after we chop it up. So chop it to chop, chop. Anywho, I'm back doing the voiceover because apparently I stopped talking. <sighs> Child, we're gonna get it together eventually. <laughs> anyway, I gotta uh, edit the video of me putting the house together. So I went room by room and then somewhere along the line, I got lost in uh, and when I say lost, I I stopped filming. I but, turn the heat down. Uh, Y'all gonna see me my office put together. I should have filmed the guy, cause child, I ain't put this desk together. I ain't put that fire cam together. That was a no go for me. All right, back to this food. Anywho, so we're going to put our chicken in there. We're going to give that a nice little stir. It looks a little soupy right now, but it ain't going to end up like that. Uh, that pasta soaked up the sauce, which made it extra creamy. Uh, it was so good. I swear, y'all, it was delicious. All right, you want to mix it really well. And then broccoli. you're going to saute your broccoli in the pan. Just don't clean the pan out because that's still seasoning in there, Chad. From the chicken and the sauce. So you're going to keep that in there. You're going to add in a little bit of olive oil. Not a whole lot. Just a little bit. And then like just a little bit of water. See? A little olive oil. And then uh, a little splash of water. So it can kind of steam through a little bit. Because you don't want right. it to be hard. Um, or, 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 or. You can get a bag of frozen broccoli. Charlie, you can skip this whole process out again. And just put the I'm sorry. Put the frozen broccoli in there. But I didn't use frozen. I always buy fresh. All right. And you want to give it a nice stir. You want to make sure it's stirred up really well. You can put some cheese in there. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to put some cheese in there. I'm going to stir that cheese in so that it'll be, you know, cheesy all the way through. I'm going to stir that in. And then I'm going to put some cheese on top, just like you see right there. Look at that. I know your mouth water, mine water right now, and I already done had some. Look how it's percolating. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? So you're going to put the lid on, and then when you take that lid off, baby. <laughs> don't tell me nothing about <laughs> Don't you tell me nothing about how to cook. You Don't you tell me nothing about how to cook. And if you want to go the extra mile with yours, you can put a can of Rotel in yours. But I didn't do that with mine. But you can do that with yours. Now All let's right, do let's a taste test. I'm going to shut up. Nice little try. I already know it's good. If y'all cook this and invite me over to your house, I'm going to pick out all the broccoli. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm going to pick it out and I'm going to eat it. So put extra broccoli in it if you like broccoli too. Because I love broccoli. You, you, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so rude. Here, boo -boo. Here you go. There you go. All right. Open your mouth. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Mm-mm. Mm. Um, Lord Jesus, thank you for this food I'm eating. Thank you for being, for it being good. Thank you for blessing me to know how to cook. Y'all don't hear the smacking, do you? All right, before you go, 
go over to www.boraycq.com. Follow me on Instagram under Borays. Follow me under Stacy D Entrepreneur. I got two of those pages. Follow me there. Um, go check out cutiepiesweetcase.com. Man, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Smacking time. Bye. <laughs>